What's up guys, Eric here, over here at Putnam Rotary Park. I'm here with... Kevin Butler. Kevin Butler, and um, he's our first person that we ran across who is a Pokemon hunter, or a Pokemon trainer. Tell me, Kevin, how do you feel right now, as of, what, a month maybe, of Pokemon Go? What do you feel about it? Honestly, I think it's the best thing that's happened to a lot of the different communities around here. I mean, it's bringing a lot of people together that normally wouldn't be brought together. You wouldn't so, see, uh, you definitely don't you see de a lot of people. No, it's a lot of camaraderie. Uh, you know, aside from there being Mystic, Valor, and Instinct, you know, even even though there's like a big, there's, there's like the big the fight war. between, yeah, yeah the, the war wars. between them, it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. When it all comes down to it, we're all Pokemon Go players and we all like having fun, so. Eric here at Davis Park and I'm joined with? Amy. Amy, nice to meet you, how are you doing? Amy. And you are team? Now, Amy, this app obviously is a huge hit. What do you feel, community-wise, has this app done? Uh, I think it's brought a lot of people together. I see, I don't get out much. I, I'm, I keep to myself a whole lot. But I've been getting out almost every night just to come take a walk and have Pokemon, replenish my stack of Pokeballs. So, <laughs> and I see, a lot of people. I was out here last night and I saw three, four groups of five, six people wandering around here at 10.30 at night trying to take down the gyms. <laughs> There's always a lure out here so I find a ton of Pokemon. So you definitely say community-wise this game has, has actually gotten oh. people out and about. Oh yeah. I, a lot of times I drive by here and I don't see... Before it came out I didn't see anybody in this park. Ever, unless there was some event. Now I see tons of people. Everybody's out here at all hours of the day, and it's wonderful to see people outside. Even though they're looking at their phones, they're outside. They're they're communicating with people. They're meeting new people, and it's, it's the a lot way of the fun. world would be, kind of. Thing. Yeah. What's up, guys? Eric back here, still at Rotary Park, and with me I've got Andre. And? Sam. Alright, and we're here still talking about Pokemon Go. Now, Andre. Yes. What is your team? I'm on Valor, baby. Okay, is that? I'm on this. Uh, <laughs> Zach, I won't give you too much hard time. Now, Zach, you being Mystic, how hard is it for you to come across somebody on your team? I just go out and ask people, but I haven't seen many Mystic. Really? Like, it's been more Valor. Which I guess is a little harder for me on the gyms, but when I do find people on Mystic, I just go with them and try and talk at the gyms. Now, do you find Pokemon Go has made this app easier for you to go out and meet people? Oh, uh, definitely. It's brought the community together, I think. So it's more. not like, you know, whereas before prior to this app, you go out and it's like you see somebody needing help and just chilling, and you're like, hey, what's going on? You couldn't do that. Now it's like, hey, Team Valor, Team Mister. Oh, what's going on, man? It's a yeah. little easier, right? Right, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Because I think that's what the point of this, I think personally what the game to this is, is trying to get people out, trying to get people yeah. like, interactive with the community, mm -hmm. with, with friends. And to grow friends. people together yeah. almost. Yes. What do you feel as Pokemon Go should be changed, added, altered, you know, to make the game better, a little easier? I've heard of a trading system coming soon, which I think will be a lot better because then you can interact with the whole world almost too. Yes. Which I like that. Uh, I think it'd be great yeah. too. I, I actually personally believe that they need to get a trading in as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Me though, I think they should do it within factions. I think Mystic should trade with Mystic. You know, you have Valor trading with Valor and that other team that nobody really even cares about. I think it's Instinct or something yeah. or yeah. Incest or something like that. I don't know. It's some crappy thing. But I do believe that they should make, they should start out as inside faction trading and then if it does good I think they should push it out. Yeah, that'd be nice. Andre. Yes. You're Team Valor. Team Valor. What made you decide Team Valor? Yo, know, honestly I looked at I looked up like because when before you pick your team they tell you which uh, like what what each team stands for. Like I think like Mystic is all about like evolution and Valor is all about going out and training with your Pokemon, forming a bond with them. So I kinda I kinda I kinda uh, keyed in with Valor. That's why that's why I chose them. So you felt but, more of the Ash side where it's oh, like yeah, yeah. I gotta Absolutely. be part with my one, one with my team, yep. one with my Pokemon, and then of course Mystics, that whole scientific. Yeah. Now, what do you feel as your own thought 
of what should be added, taken out, maybe. I, mean, uh, I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to add more Pokemon, honestly. Like, you know, like future generations and stuff like that. I uh, I have not got past first gen Pokemon. I don't yeah. think I ever will. Yeah. I, I this like you start with 151, then all of a sudden 400 more Pokemon come up. Like, wait, wow. Yeah. How, how come they couldn't find? So, um, I mean, I I do. I, I just I just hope they stay with the 151 or yeah. the 149 for now until for now. it gets, gets into it. What have you found to be the hardest part about Pokemon? Uh, Other than the server down. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. They, uh, basically, I mean, that's not even Pokemon Go. It's the weather because this is it's July, very hot. You know, it's kind of it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to just walk around and you know you're working up a sweat, you get tired, and you're wearing pants. I'm wearing, I'm wearing <laughs> pants. That's that too. Uh, I, I can't I personally. I can't wait for like fall, for like winter. I, I can't I can't wait to see people out here in their you know the coats, the sleeves, jackets. Uh, walking around in, in, in pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you feel weather does have some type of effect on what's Pokemon Arise? Possibly. I don't know. I think. I think. I think it's mostly area and time of day. Like, I think you get different Pokemon at night, and you get like more water types near the water. For example. See, I've heard electrical storms bring out electric Pokemon. That'd be cool. Yeah. I've, I've heard, heard that you know when you get thunderstorms, Pikachu's, Electabuzz, Magnemites, all that stuff starts showing up. That'd be cool. I haven't seen it happen yet. I mean, I've I got a Pikachu on a clear day just laying in bed, so I don't know if it was a glitch and I got lucky. No idea, but I think I, I would hope that would have an effect on it. Because if you get a blizzard, I would love to see like an Articuno. Yeah, or Jinx. Yeah, exactly. I would love to see something like that. Now, do you feel this po this app itself has gotten to be more communicative? As to oppose of like sitting inside a dungeon in front of a computer a computer screen TV. Yeah, because like I, I do that. I play World of Warcraft, and it's it's. The, the stark difference in community between World of Warcraft and Pokemon Go is out of the water. Because like you got WoW, you've got people, you look, you, you don't even know what they look like. You're right, just talking them to right. a screen. Here, like I said, you come up to yeah. somebody you don't even know, and you're like, like what team are you on? Hey, what team are you on? Oh man, hey, this is it. that your gym? <laughs> I got you. You know, I think, yeah. I think this game is really making an impact on the way the community looks at each other. Definitely. I mean, of course, you still got those people that are like, oh, you sell all this shit. Yeah. yeah. And then, You've got people that are like, you know, Team Mystic to Team Valor. Oh, shit. Oh, magic comes out of You know, I still think it's a friendly game. I do believe that this yeah. game is going to make an impact, not only in our generation, but just to keep coming on. Because I think it's good. Now, Welcome back, guys. Eric here again, and I'm joined by... Frank. Frank. All right, and we're again now talking about Pokemon Go. Frank, uh, I understand that you are new to the app. Step Couple weeks. All right. Well, tell me, how do you how do you fare with the game? Like, like uh, how, what do you, what's your opinion on it? No, I, I have a lot of opinions on it right now, but I play it for a whole bunch of different reasons. Mostly to meet people, but uh, also it's fun. I played Ingress, which is based the same company made Ingress that made Pokemon. Oh, okay. And we used all the data from people running around playing Ingress to make Pokemon. Pokemon. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You just, just brighten up my knowledge on that one. Yeah, I'm pretty big into it, especially the Ingress and the VR stuff. Oh no shit. Well, uh, well, what do you, what do you, what do you personally like about the game and kind of dislike? What do you wish that they would change or add to? Uh, kind of. I need to add a bunch of things. It'd be nice if you could see these back in the gym. Go on a little closer. So a lot more information, sort of like Ingress had. Uh, I played that with a group of buddies, and at 2 a.m. we'd all wake up and take off because someone was attacking our town in East Greenwich over in Rhode Island. <laughs> we'd drive 40 minutes just to go take the town back and, and look for these guys. The town's deserted, and there's just a couple guys with their phones in their faces walking around in the middle of the night. Oh, wow. And it, it's a lot of fun just meeting people that way, and it's a challenge to go against the other teams. Now, uh, out of the three teams that you can pick, I don't know if, uh, if you're high enough or not, but uh, out of Mystic. Your team Mystic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Another, another one. Yeah. Another <laughs> That's too missed. I'm gonna be personally I'm a valley myself. Cameraman, he's still unsure yet, but he's probably gonna come on and join us on the valley side. Well hey, that's why we're doing this. I gotta make my choice. Yes, so. yes, we're trying to find out. Now, um, obviously you followed Pokemon in the past, the cartoon show, the Game Boy games and oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. like were you surprised when they were announcing something of this caliber to say, hey look, we're gonna get you out and about? No, actually, uh, I mean, I, I was looking into Ingress, I was looking into VR, um, the Pablo Lens, and, and all that that's coming out, all the new technology around VR, and I got into Ingress because of that, then learned about Pokemon, but shoot, it was almost two years ago I learned that Pokemon was coming out. 
I've been waiting for it. Yeah. And then I kind of forgot about it in the last couple of months because I've been busy and just moved and everything. And I see everyone walking around with their phone. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? They're all playing Pokemon, I found out. Yeah. Started. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, do you have any issues with it lately? I mean, other than the servers. The servers are down all the time. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm just being told that they're just trying to update, upgrade, and update things. Yeah, they just added 20, 26 new countries, too. Uh, really? Yesterday, so that's probably what's uh, uh, probably, probably a million players trying to join up. Now, did you know, fun bit tab, that uh, Pokemon Go now is probably yeah. taken over? It's actually had more views than porn itself. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, awesome. The second time something has come out. Hey, it's better for the kids. Right? So. <laughs> right? The second time that something's come out that's actually done better than adult video. That's pretty, uh, wow, what was the first one? Uh, it was Fallout 4. The release of Fallout 4, the very first night it was released, dropped out Pornhub's like record. It just destroyed <laughs> view within 24 hours. Yeah, All right, everybody, back here again. Carissa. And I'm Eric, and we're here again still talking about Pokemon Go. As far as community-wise, how do you feel it's affected the community? Oh, no, it's awesome. It's great coming out here and like seeing everyone walk around and just seeing that, like, you see someone look at phones like, Pokemon Go, and it's like, yeah! That's, that's what we did. <laughs> yeah, but I can walk around here in the park, or I can walk, like, around my house and everything. Everyone kind of... It's Friendly? Wood. Yeah, I actually haven't, outside of the... Valor Mystic going on here. Uh, nothing negative. Good. I'm glad because I, I mean personally, I think that the game's doing a great job at that. Mm -hmm. The whole angle of community, I think it's working out well. You're getting kids out of the uh, out of the house, away from the TVs, computers. I mean, given it's a phone, but I'd rather have my son walking than sitting inside wasting his life. Definitely, you can. You know, as long as you're safe, that's the big issue. Because I've seen people like cross the street and not pay attention. Like, you can put your phone down and walk. It, your phone vibrates. You can put your exactly. phone on sleep and it'll vibrate, it'll make a noise. You know, the hardcore staring, it's an issue. Hey, hardcore after crap. <laughs> um, what's up, guys? Eric here, back at this wonderful Rotary Park. I'm joined here with Evan. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I see you got a Team Instinct shirt. I do. I hope that's just like, you know, not Pokemon based. <laughs> is it? It is. Oh, man, valid for life. All right, well, you obviously are a big Pokemon Go Pro fan. Yes. Okay, now have you been doing Pokemon Go, or Pokemon, I'm sorry, in like Game Boy handheld? Or oh, yeah. you just woke up and said everyone's doing it, I want to do it? I used to play on the Nintendo 64, I used to play with Pokemon in the stadium. That's my shit. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So your Team Instinct, you're the first instinct that I've actually come across. <laughs> Why is Team Instinct such a hard team to want to join or become a part of? Um, I feel like people are thrown off by the color, just because it's yellow. I picked it because Zapdos is my favorite legendary bird. It's a very valid reason. I'm, that's the shit. That is good. I mean, I like Moltres. I wouldn't say he's my favorite legendary. I think they all suck personally. How do you feel with the game working as a community-based game? Like, does it make it easier to get out and like meet new people? Oh yeah, definitely. I've met a ton of people uh, just walking around with people. I picked up some guy. Uh, his name's Ryan. We just went and caught Pokemon together, and now we just, whenever I see him here, we just chill. We just hang out. Yeah. So I just turned to a complete stranger. Hey, man, you, what are you doing? Chilling. You want to go catch Pokemon? That's it? Yep. That's pretty much it. Well, we got a together. That's, well, I, I, apparently it's doing its job as far as a community based game. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Eric here at Davis Park, Killing the Connecticut, and I'm joined here with this lovely couple. I'm Alex. And we are again here talking about Pokemon Go. Now you guys are our first couple, married couple at that, to interview us on, or I'm sorry, to be interviewed on the Pokemon Go app. Now, first question is, what is your team? We are Team Mystic. Who team? Team Valor, man. Why's the Phoenix? <laughs> um, now, this game coming out, obviously it's such a big hit, huge hit, everybody wants it. One of the biggest apps that's ever been downloaded, I, I would believe, to this day. And personally, I, that's what I feel. Um, what do you like both about this app? Like, what is the, what is the thing that like got you guys into this app? Now, I understand that you're new to the Pokemon world. So, was it more of my boyfriend or my husband's doing it? I've got to try it out, or was it like? Um, it's my large group of friends and another game that I play it was all about Pokemon and the chat with them. We're like. They're like, oh, I caught a Pikachu, oh, I caught a Charmander, oh, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got that, and I kind of wanted to be 
that's part of the big thing that's happening. Uh, so. Are you glad that you did it? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> awesome. 150 Pokemon later, I'm going to get that. It's so. awesome. I love to hear that. And you, I mean, obviously, I'm sure you're a veteran Pokemon since the 90s, watching the show, the Game Boy console. I mean, yeah, what? I, I don't know. I guess I've played quite a bit. Have you? <laughs> I don't know. So, I haven't really played anything recent. Not like the new ones. Yeah, I, the next gen is now. Yeah. Uh, I think I stopped at Pokemon Ruby or Emerald. I haven't even played those. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it was more of like you've been waiting for this. It's here. It's a whole new Pokemon. I gotta go and do it. Pretty much. Is all of a sudden there's like, hey, there's a, there's a Pokemon game where you can walk around and look out of bumps and start playing. Now, how do you feel this game has affected the community? Like, do you think it was a great idea? Do you think it should have waited a bit? It was too early? Like, how do you feel this game coming out, going with the community? Like, I think it was a good idea because, um, I mean, you wouldn't see this many people at the park differently. You don't really get like a lot of interaction. People just kind of walk around. You know, really, like, I only say hi to people for the most part, but now you get people like here at the park or over at Owen Bell Park, and everyone's just kind of like having fun. A few moments ago, we were actually listening to someone with vent about normal social everyday issues in his life. I would have never talked to that guy if we didn't have, like, oh, you play Pokemon? Well, we're playing Pokemon. Um, and I've seen a lot more kids out that are more into, like, the talking about things with older people. Normally, they stick to themselves. So you definitely would say it's it's gotten people out of the shells. It's yeah. gotten people to actually become a community where, like you said moments ago, where you wouldn't find a single person here. And now it's like you got a group there, group there, group there, mm -hmm. and it's Team Mystic, Team Mystic. We're right on. That's so pretty much it. Yep. It's definitely an icebreaker. This game has mm -hmm. definitely made people's lives a lot easier as far as social. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get people screaming as you're coming down the street, it's great, you know? <laughs> People either love her or they hate it, it's one or the other, you know? Wow. Back guys, Eric here, joined by... Jonathan Peterson. Jonathan Peterson, nice to meet you. Nice meeting now, you. Pokemon Go, this is what we hear about. What is your yeah. team? Team Valley. Rock on, man, same here. What do you feel could be added, changed, or taken out of Pokemon Go personally for your experience? Added? Definitely the trade system. The trade system is definitely needed to be added, turn-based as well. Because the gym battling is just god awful. Where you have to tap and then you can swipe to dodge. I do like that. And they also, did you know, I don't know if everyone knew this, but the weight of your Pokemon determines how quick you attack and how much you can attack before they attack. Okay. If your weight says extra small or whatever, your attacks are going to be weaker, but you can attack more. And you can dodge better. If you're that heavy... Makes, that definitely makes sense. That, that's why I like that. That whole, you know, multiple attack and not the turn based because. But it's not Pokemon though. True. That's True. that's how I grew up. I grew up turn based, turn based all the way. How do you feel personally about the app as it coming out? Like, what, like, what are you glad? Like, are you glad that it came out community wise? Like, did yeah. it make everything easier to get out and about and like? No, it definitely, it definitely makes talking to people a lot easier. But um, as towards the people being community back and actually wanting to be friends and make friends, that's a little scarce. Because you got the team, yes. so that kind of divides everybody. But I can see where they came in with the teams because of the three legendary birds. But other than that, I don't really see a need for teams other than for gym purposes. Yeah. So hey guys, what's up? Eric here at Davis Park, Killingly, Connecticut, and I'm joined here with... Jeff Palumbo. Jeff Palumbo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are a fellow Pokemon trainer, is that? Yes, I am. All right, and team you are choosing? Team Valor. Team Valor the all the way. Phoenix Rises. All right, now tell me, sir, since you played this app, what are your feelings on it? Like, how do you, what do you feel should be, like, incorporated? I, incorporated in it? Um, I don't know, uh, a, a forum to be able to chat with other people, uh, of your same team to say, hey, I'm heading out, let's all get together to head out. You know, something that can be also controlled because kids play it. So oh, that's yes. a real big thing. And, you know, especially with all the negative going on right now, mm -hmm. you know, you, you want to get the positive. It's a lot of it's just common sense. 